is a very cool video. I really like that. Oh, well, he's won nine New Zealand Music Awards, enjoyed nine times platinum album sales, and become a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for Services to Music. Oh, he's also one of our all-time favourite people, and he's dressed up for the show today as well. <laughs> he's here to tell us all about his brand new single. It is great to have you here, Jason Kerrison. Thank you. Yeah. very much. Thank you. Yeah. And I only say that because Mike's already given you grief about the fact that you didn't dress up for the show. Well, he's wearing my jacket. What am I supposed to wear? <laughs> hey, thanks for the love. Yeah. Thank that you. Is really we do get it. Blue. Uh, it is really good to have you here. Um, that the song, the video is very, yes. very cool. Yep, that's done by a guy called um, Ed uh, Davis from Underbelly, who's uh, done a bit of stuff for me in the past, but he's done heaps of work. He's a great, uh, great guy, but does really innovative stuff. So you would have seen there. There's a really cool green screen thing going on, and it's amazing what you can do with a New Zealand Donny Grant. There you go. Thank you, New Zealand. Thanks, New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, really catchy tune, though. So tell us about the process of putting it together. Was it a lot? Did it come to you straight away? Or did you, yeah. you know, have to think about it long and change it? Yeah, I know. One of the, as a songwriter, when you're just dabbling in stuff, and then suddenly you'll find, I found that with Maybe, and I found that with One Day, that um, there's just moments you go, oh, you know what? This is actually something really good here. Something feels really good here. And, he, and just being someone who pursues, I think, mostly that feeling, it, almost what happens to it afterwards is, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's actually in that moment where you go, actually, that feels good. This had that in it. So, and I think we've managed to record that. I've got Jason Far Far Four years, we'll see um, later on, playing some uh, ukulele, some guitar, some bass. He's pretty much playing everything on the recording because he's better than me and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not so fussed about having well, the other awesome. record. Oh, yeah. pretty good. Um, it's like a wonderful way. It's really catchy and it, it's a bit of a love song. Yeah, it's um, a bit of a love song, actually, but not quite a love song. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those songs that you hope that people over summer relate to in the sense that more that they just want to feel wonderful and they don't mind telling people that they're wonderful, they don't mind acknowledging that feeling. So that's, uh, I'm probably going to go there on that little diversionary take, but thanks for almost throwing me. Is it, is it, like, is it about any particular person? Uh, it's about a about? particular person, yeah. You're not going yeah. to tell us, though, are you? I'm probably not going to. <laughs> Get out um, of okay. no, She's well. lovely, though. And well, just as a friend, she's just one of those people that's... Um, Do we know it? You guys might, but <laughs> she's just she's really she's just lovely, and I just wish there was um, more of that in the world. And she just managed to put her head above the, gr above the grime and just uh, managed to see the uh, the world is half full. No, I, I was listening to an interview you were doing full. on Radio Live the other day, Jace, and uh, you started talking about sort of the science and the philosophies that you've applied to music, and it was quite fascinating. So you know, I just thought as an artist, you come up with a song and you. Do you just sing it? But there's actually mm. quite a lot that goes into it. Can you tell us a bit more about what you were discussing on Radio Live? Yeah, it's a, some sort of timing thing, wasn't it? It was. I don't think we've necessarily got the time to go into the detail here. You know, like we had an hour to talk about it on Radio Live. But it was essentially I was put into a situation with uh, TEDx. They'd asked me to do a presentation. The idea was um, think differently was the theme for the um, TEDx. And so I thought it might be interesting to recontextualise commercial music into something called the fee ratio. And the the fee ratio is in all organic matter, I've, I've heard. So it's, and the example I use is in us. If you take uh, the tip of your finger to the first joint and multiply that by 1.618, which is the fee ratio, yes. you then get the next uh, joint, uh, sorry, the next length of space from that joint to the next joint, and ah, so okay. on and so forth. So wow. that you can see it actually happening in us, but it happens in galaxies, it happens in the way a wave breaks, it happens in the way that. Um, fire happens. So when you look, start looking at things, you start realising it's actually all fractals, that type of stuff. So right. I wanted to be interesting to put that into music, and we're just scraping the surface there. That is really wow. awesome. Anyway, I we don't, that's quite interesting. We don't have um, an hour to talk about that. would be really good, though. I would like to know more about that. Yeah. Um, I do want to know, though, we, last week we played um, Op Shops one day on the show, and we said... It's been 10 years since oh, this was a man. song on the charts. Can you yeah. think it's been 10 years? I feel very old when you say that. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. You don't lock it. Yeah. It seems yeah. like only yesterday we were listening to it on all the ads on television endlessly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on right. and on and on yeah, again. Yeah, we won't give them another plug. Um, but but yeah. Op Shop's getting a bit together. We are. And you know what's quite weird is that we... Bobby pointed this out the other day. That we haven't actually been in the same room since we went on hiatus. Wow. Wow. We haven't even been in the same room. I mean, it's pretty rude, actually. We, someone should have called me. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Everyone else. I think we're going to break up again just quietly. <laughs> uh, no, um, it's something we're really looking forward to. The guys at Homegrown have been asking us every year since we took a hiatus, and um, this year we it just felt right. 
And well, what made that so magical? I mean, you've had a lot of projects and they've all been successful, but that one in particular, was there, was there something about the mix of people there that made a difference? I think there always it just is. Good it's timing. the beauty of musicians right. playing with one another. Is you have this beautiful collision of personalities and faiths and who they are and who they aren't and, and, and just playing with another, and that's what helps to congeal into something that could or couldn't be special. Yeah. Yeah. And we happen to have moments where, because I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say that I necessarily bought into that, the idea of op shop being this um, being great, but there, we had great moments. But it has been really nice to reflect after deciding that we would um, come back together and listen to the music again. And we, mate, we were really good. You yeah, had some really good, good moments. And, and so, you know what, wow, one we were day really we used to make me cry because um, I had a baby at the time and I was emotional. Everything made me cry. Super Market has made me cry, <laughs> but it was really good and it's a good fun memory for me. So the new single is out, um, is. and the album is coming out. The album's going to be out probably. Um, uh, early next year, early to mid next year. Okay, we'll sometime. hold you to that. Yes, thank you. And yeah. no doubt busy over summer as well, are you? Gigging around? Yeah, I am gigging around. Um, although I've suddenly got some time around January and February, I won't be visiting all the wineries um, like we had planned. And I plan to be up on the retreat, a uh, Great Northern Retreat Facebook at anyone. Just awesome. come up and join me. Enjoy we will. I'm going to be up north for Christmas too, so we might oh, come, come see you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, yeah, Jason, invite. thank you. Thanks, Jason. Well, pleasure. I'm going to hear from you in a moment too. Uh, Jason's new track, A Wonderful Way, is out now. And you can stick around. He'll be performing it for us live right here on the cafe. And we are so looking forward to a solo album, which will be released, as we said, early mid next year. He is one of the most talented people I know and just so damn nice. I'm still here, Mike. I know, sorry. <laughs> We're still, still here, here. Okay. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Door biggest thing <laughs> Right.